They're so cool, they're hot. If you think we're talking about Pop-Tarts, we're definitely not. We're digging deep into athletes' tempers. These are 20 times athletes lose their cool in sports. But before we step into the ring, you can make sure to never lose your cool from missing a video by hitting the notification bell and subscribing to our channel. Five out of five sports psychologists recommend viewing this channel at least once a day. When athletes face adversity, they buck up, put their chins down, and give it their best until they cross the finish line. Except for some. Some throw a fit and have a complete and utter meltdown when things don't go their way. When that happens, rackets get smashed, balls go flying, refs get punched. Even the fans aren't safe from these angry athletes' tantrums. These are 20 times athletes lose their cool in sports. NHL goalies have to be tough guys. They have pucks, sticks, and big bodies flying at their face the whole game. Montreal Canadiens goalie Carey Price finally had enough and lost his cool when New Jersey Devils' Kyle Palmieri ran into him during a scoring attempt and knocked him over. Price decided the best payback was to rain down a sea of punches with his gloves. This runner didn't even have a reason to lose his cool. He won his steeplechase event at the European Championships in Finland and celebrated by knocking the gift bag a big, cuddly mascot was trying to give him right out of his hands. The runner probably felt bad when he learned that inside the costume was a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, dude, there's usually people in those things. It's the referee that's had enough in this clip. While doling out the discipline, the ref is bumped inadvertently by one of the players. But this ref must have been having a bad day, because that was enough to send him over the edge and seeking revenge. Later, on a trip downfield, the ref trips and sticks his leg out to try and trip the player. This momentary mishap of judgment got this referee banned from soccer. Blake Griffin saw a fan sitting courtside wearing the other team's colors and got all up in his feelings. Blake had to do something without drawing too much attention to himself, so he got revenge in a unique way. Stuff like this is why Blake Griffin has been an exciting star, almost ready to make that leap to the next level for like 10 years now. Tennis players sure do get angry when things don't go their way. Their shorts must be too tight or something. And getting super mad while holding a ball in a racket is never good for the people around you. This player lets off some steam by smashing the ball as hard as he can. But some bad aim and just general poor judgment ends with the line judge getting a ball to the face. Could have been worse. Could have been two balls. This Italian pole vaulter thinks that she cleared the bar without touching it. The judge, however, seems to disagree and deduct a point. She doesn't appreciate that, and she makes sure to let them know exactly how wrong they are. Mama Mia! When someone talks about stealing a base in baseball, this is not what they mean. This coach gets so mad about being ejected that he completely loses his cool and tears up the infield. There is something truly majestic about an old man throwing a hissy fit and kicking dirt, while another old man just watches him. This is like that kid that takes his ball and goes home. Except he takes a base. Nobody tell him that they have plenty of replacements. Vince McMahon is the owner of the WWE. On the television shows, he struts down to the ring and does whatever he wants. Away from the ring, though, it's a whole nother story. When Vince doesn't control the script and has to answer the real questions from reporters, he can panic. And when he panics, he gets confrontational. That's what happens in this Bob Costas interview. Vince gets right in Bob's face, but Costas doesn't back down. And when a reporter asks a very valid question about the rigging equipment that led to Owen Hart's death, Vince tries to rip the reporter's head off. This guy should stay in the ring. Serena Williams is one of the most dominant athletes in tennis history, but because of tennis's old stodgy traditions, she's sometimes treated unfairly and by a double standard. So when she confronts this line judge that accused her of cheating, he kept doubling down, further enraging her. Serena.